The last time the Cardinals played on Monday night, it was two seasons ago when quarterback Kyler Murray got hurt. He was eventually diagnosed with a torn ACL, as you'll remember. He and the Cardinals will be back under the primetime lights Monday night against the Chargers at State Farm Stadium. Luckily, K1 will have rookie wideout Marvin Harrison Jr. He has cleared concussion protocol after a few days of being in it after that loss in Green Bay at 2-4. and four. They're only a game back in the division. Still plenty of room for the Cardinals to get rolling. Of course, it's a long season. Jonathan Gannon is happy that his star receiver won't be missing a beat. He's good. He does everything he needs to do, um, you know, and and uh, the protocol is obviously different, but he takes care of himself and maximizes his buckets, and he's a really a true pro. So he had a good week. I talk to the coaches and the players all the time about being adaptable. Like, it's our job to solve problems and figure it out and who's out there and, and make sure that we're putting the right people out there and asking them the, to do the right things. Um, for the betterment of the team. Our insider Doug Franz back with us to talk Cardinals. Doug, despite the inconsistencies throughout the Cardinals year so far, we've heard there's really a sense of positivity and encouragement when you look ahead. And really, they still have a chance to win the NFC West. What do you make of that? I totally believe they still have a chance as long as San Francisco is still dealing with as many injuries as they've got going on. And you just said it a second ago, they're only a game out in the division. But that makes this game that much more important to be able to stay in the fight because who knows how the two teams or the other teams are going to do coming up on Sunday. But get a win here and you're right in it. You know, it's not necessarily the losses that have fans feeling bad. It might be the performance and the uh, something to feel good about. Should the Cardinals feel good about this team right now? Uh, Cardinals no, fans, I should say. I don't think they should. I, I think that there's been the the games that they should have won, they didn't mm -hmm. in, in that sense. And then in some of the other games, you look at the performance of Kyler, it doesn't look like he's growing tremendously. Mm -hmm. There's zero relationship on the field between Kyler and Marvin Harrison. There mm -hmm. seems to be a great relationship off it, but it's not translating yet. And then, of course, there's Michael Bidwell's decision not to spend money on a defensive line that can hit the quarterback. And they're, again, one of the worst teams at getting pressure. You talk about the defense, one of the stars of that side of the ball is Buda Baker, but yes. he is the center of a lot of chatter. When you look at his free agency coming up in 2025, is there something to this? Could he be shopped around this season? I would have to think so, because if you want him, why haven't you signed him yet? Now, of course, there can always be negotiations going on behind the scenes. There could be a surprise announcement at some point. The NFL trade deadline comes up in about three weeks. So if you are a team that either has a safety issue or you're a team that wants a big playoff push can you imagine adding somebody the weight and size and I mean that figuratively and not literally of a Buddha Baker that would immediately vault your team to know we're taking this seriously mm -hmm. so if I'm a team I would make a move and if you're the Cardinals if you haven't signed him why keep him and lose him for nothing and Kyler was the guy when Cliff Kingsbury was the head coach and Steve Keim was the general manager. Yes. Is he still the guy moving forward? That's a big question. You can't cut him this year because the salary cap would be crazy, but you could do it next year. And I think the salary cap hits around $15 million in dead money. That's not terrible. And then after that, there's no more guaranteed money. And that's when Kyler would say, hey, I want to start talking contracts. So everybody's on a deadline right now. It's not, you can see the deadline. It's not in your face yet, but you know it's coming. Well, we know Monday night football's coming. They have not looked good at home or in prime time. Right. But, you know, Doug Franz always looks good with us here <laughs> on 12 Sports Locker. Only because I have a wife that dresses me. Thanks, Jennifer. We love to see it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Doug.